5 Most Fatal Designs of the OceanGate Titan Submersible Have you ever gazed into the inky blackness of the ocean's depths and wondered what secrets it holds? Today, we'll plunge into that darkness aboard one of the most ambitious submersibles ever built, the OceanGate Titan. But what happens when the marvel of engineering meets the unforgiving laws of nature? Titan's groundbreaking design was crafted to bring us closer to the ocean's mysteries. Yet every choice, material, and slight alteration has consequences. And in the relentless deep, those consequences could be fatal. But just how dangerous can innovation be when safety becomes secondary? Well, let's find out. Carbon Fiber and Titanium Construction Under the ownership and operation of Ocean Gate Expeditions, the Titan made its debut Titanic voyage in 2021, garnering attention for its unique cylinder-shaped cabin crafted from carbon fiber. A departure from the typical titanium sphere-shaped cabins seen in most submersibles. Chris Roman explained the significance of the sphere shape, as it distributes water pressure evenly across all areas. Although he hadn't been on the Titan, he's an experienced deep diver in Alvin a submersible operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. But here's the twist. The Titan's larger internal volume, cozy enough for a maximum of five seated adventurers, also brought its fair share of challenges. With its elongated cabin space, it faced increased external pressure, like navigating through stormy waters. And the potential consequences of elongating the cabin space? This design choice results in heightened pressure loads in the midsection actions, leading to increased fatigue and delamination. Furthermore, Graham Jones noted that the Titan's 5-inch thick hull endured repeated stress from around two dozen previous dives, creating tiny cracks in the structure that could potentially grow and become critical over time. OceanGate touted the benefits of the Titan's carbon fiber construction with titanium end caps on their website, claiming it to be lighter and more efficient than other deep diving submersibles. With a design intended for dives up to four kilometers 2.4 miles with a comfortable safety margin according to court documents however Graham Jones cautioned that carbon composites have a limited lifespan under excessive loads or poor design leading to stress concentrations. As we delve deeper into the mysterious history of the OceanGate Titan, we uncover its groundbreaking design and the safety concerns brushed aside by the company operating it. Safety concerns ignored. So, it turns out that the company operating the Titan submersible, OceanGate, had quite a track record of brushing off safety concerns. And trust me, it didn't end well for some of their staff members who dared to raise these issues. One brave soul, Lockridge, decided to blow the whistle on the submersible safety issues. But instead of being hailed as a hero, he found himself walking the plank or being shown the exit. Lockridge wasn't the only one concerned about the submersible's safety. Rob McCallum, an explorer and former consultant for OceanGate, also had some worries. He even sent a series of messages to the CEO, Stockton Rush, urging him to halt using the sub until it was independently certified. But oh boy, Rush didn't have it. He responded with a thanks but no thanks attitude, claiming that safety concerns were just a buzzkill for innovation. Innovation is great, but not at the cost of safety, right? Things got so heated that it was like a cutthroat battle on the high seas when the lawyers got involved. Legal threats were thrown around like cannonballs, and the tense exchange finally went underwater. An actual showdown indeed. Now, if you thought that was the worst of it, think again. There's much, much more. The Titan had some rough rides, and we're not talking about a fun roller coaster at an amusement park. During the 2022 expedition, OceanGate faced a battery problem with the submersible during a dive, as mentioned in court documents reviewed by the Associated Press. 
The submersible had to be manually attached to its lifting platform during the first dive to the Titanic. As a result of this incident and some modest external component damage, OceanGate decided to cancel the second mission. The company stated that the cancellation was necessary to conduct repairs and improve the submersible's operations. This occurrence raised concerns about potential technical issues with the submersible, as the battery problem had significant consequences and required the cancellation of the subsequent mission. During a trip with a journalist on board in 2022, the Titan pulled off a vanishing act, leaving everyone aboard bewildered. They had to send short texts to the subs, but no one knew where it was for hours. Total radio silence. The situation got so tense that they had to shut off the ship's internet to prevent fishy tweets from making waves. But you know what? The journalist, Pogue, wasn't going to be silenced that easily. He revealed some more jaw-dropping details about the sub's lacking safety features. Apparently, the submersible was missing an emergency location transmitter. Uh-oh, that's like going on a deep-sea adventure without a life jacket. Not the most reassuring thing to hear, right? Now, I know you're probably wondering why they didn't have one in the first place. Well, OceanGate claimed they turned off the Wi-Fi to free up bandwidth in case of an emergency. Hmm, not exactly the most convincing response, is it? And you know what's even more troubling? OceanGate did not immediately respond to requests for comment on all these alarming claims. As we explore more into the troubled history of the OceanGate Titan, one alarming red flag emerges from the depths. The lack of certification. Certification Puzzle in the depths of the OceanGate Titan submersible's expedition history lies a concerning red flag, certification or the lack thereof. In 2018, the Marine Technology Society, a professional trade group, caught wind of something fishy in the company's marketing materials. They boasted that the Titan's design would meet or exceed the prestigious DNVGL certification, considered the gold standard for marine equipment. But as it turns out, the Titan wasn't even close to sailing those certified waters. The Marine Technology Society called them out, saying OceanGate had no plans to follow those rules, making the claims misleading and violating industry-wide codes of conduct. That's like setting sail with no map, hoping for smooth seas. According to the certification puzzle, the ship didn't seem too keen on going through strict safety testing. In fact, in 2019, they argued that they didn't need it at all. Imagine a pirate ship sailing the high seas without a flag. Quite a daring move, huh? Even journalist David Pogue, who hopped aboard the Titan in 2022, was handed a waiver stating that the sub was purely experimental and had no approval or certification from anyone. But the lack of certification wasn't the only iceberg in their path. Lockridge, the fearless whistleblower, discovered that the front viewport of the vessel was only certified for shallow depths, way less than the Titanic's world. Oh boy, talk about risking a treasure hunt without a map. Even the Marine Technology Society had warned them before about making misleading claims, but it seems OceanGate was sailing full steam ahead, ignoring their advice. Now let's dive into the troubling revelation surrounding OceanGate Titan's acoustic monitoring system. Acoustic System Failure OceanGate proudly boasted about its groundbreaking acoustic monitoring system, designed to detect hall failures and give everyone a fair warning before disaster strikes. It's like having a musical instrument playing an eerie tune when trouble breeds, right? But here's the twist. The early warning system didn't quite hit the right note. In a daring analysis back in 2018, our fearless whistleblower Lockridge made a startling discovery. 
He warned that the acoustic detection system was as valuable as a plank on a pirate ship. It would only provide mere milliseconds of warning before a catastrophic implosion. With his keen eye for safety, Lockridge recommended non-destructive testing on the hull to ensure it was solid and safe for all passengers and crew, like getting a skilled shipwright to inspect every nook and cranny of the ship. But alas, Oceangate turned a deaf ear to his sound advice. They claimed the Titan's hull was too thick to scan for weak spots and adhesion issues. Oh, the irony. Then comes the consequence of cost-cutting measures taken by Oceangate. Cost-cutting calamity. In a bid to save some coins, Oceangate rented a mothership that turned out to be too small for the Titan, leading to a turbulent tow across the waters. You know what they say, trying to fit a whale in a rowboat. Yup, that's pretty much what happened here. The submersible was dragged through the ocean waters for not one, not two, but three whole days. Can you imagine being towed behind like a pirate's treasure, potentially causing damage and instability along the way? Turns out, the cost-cutting measures led to some somewhat flawed decisions, all in the name of making those wealthy tourist dives to the Titanic's wreckage as profitable as can be. But wait, there's more. Our daring CEO, Stockton Rush, opted for the Polar Prince for this year's dives, thinking it would be cheaper. Talk about trying to find treasure without a map. The problem was the Polar Prince was way too small to carry the mighty Titan on its deck. So the poor sub had to endure that toe of shame from Canada's St. John's, Newfoundland to the dive site near the Titanic's wreckage. Now, that's one way to give a sub a roller coaster ride. Arnie Weissman, the editor-in-chief of Travel Weekly, had quite the experience too. He was all all set for a Titan trip in May, but his dive got cancelled. As fate would have it, he talked to someone who tragically lost their life on board. Weissman later revealed that some of the problems during this trip could have been due to Titan's new towing method. And there you have it, the captivating and cautionary tale of the Ocean Gate Titan submersible, a vessel that dared to venture where few had gone before, but with fatal designs that shook the very core of its daring dreams. Anyway, what revelations do you think this remarkable submersible will bring to the future of deep sea exploration? How will its legacy shape the next generation of daring adventurers who seek to unravel the ocean's mysteries? Remember, the search of discovery knows no bounds, and the lessons learned from the Titan's journey will echo through the annals of maritime exploration. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notifications.